okay, we're headed to Mobile. I don't want to get hit with a copyright claim because of music. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> yeah. I mean, technically, we've made it to the stop sign leaving the facility. Yeah, I'm trying to... Kevin's doing something. I'm trying to log on to my home network to turn some stuff log, on for my daughter. Log like, on. He won't, he won't do it. That, that sounds like Samsung problems to me, but... iPhone life! <laughs> um, but, yeah, we are headed to, to Mobile Dragway. It's a pretty good little tug, I mean, technically speaking. TNT guys it is but it's the only option that we have at the moment Atmore's not even open this weekend it's, look, it's, it was kind of supposed to rain today but that has been pushed a little bit it seems like till really tomorrow and Sunday and stuff so got my Mountain Dew with me and I'm going to drink it best believe that it's happening tonight so tonight I feel I feel like that guy has you know been going out with someone for maybe a date or three four <laughs> something's going down tonight <laughs> I'm all tingly feeling. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do good by the new gods and the old. I didn't even catch that on film. He was doing his hand and everything. Like he has hand up in the air. He looked like he was auditioning for Vikings That's right. season nine. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> all right. Um, well, I guess we'll see you guys at the track. We are. This is us right here, baby. Port of Call. All right, guys, we are at Mobile. It's our first time here in 10 years. So it is narrow. It always looks super narrow. At least now it's a full eighth mile. So Did they do that two years ago? Something like that, yeah. But they resurfaced this whole track this year, dug it all up, rebuilt it. Yeah, for the longest time it was only 600 feet. Yeah, so they took, I guess they took the sign down that says brakes. There used to be that giant sign down. No, there's still little signs at the end. I thought there was a big one, like billboard size that said brakes. Anyway, this is it. It's little, it's narrow. Tower's on the other side too, which is weird for us because Holt and uh, Holt, Atmore, and uh, uh, no, uh, what's your face is over on the other side too. Old Natmore's over here, but Panama City's on this side too, unless they changed it. Anyway, yeah, yeah. So, all right, we're here though. I've only ever been there once. I've been there a couple of times. It's a pretty nice track. They got shade trees there. It's pretty nice. Yeah, yeah. So, all right. This might be my third or fourth trip here. I can't remember. Hey guys, before we get into all the passes and stuff, I want to take a moment to thank Kevin. Big time thanks for dragging me up there and dragging me home. It's a little bit of a tow, at least for us. And um, I really appreciate him. He strapped the car down. He, he does it every time. He does all the strapping of the car down. He does all the unstrapping of it. Never complains, never says nothing or anything. So I certainly, certainly appreciate what he did for me. Also, I had a clip that, or I thought I had a clip. Something happened with the recording. I didn't hit, I, it didn't get recorded. But we had a conversation with Pirate we talked about in the Trojan Horse video, and I informed him that, you know, hey, I'm gonna need another driver, and realistically, he's got the most amount of seat time of anyone in the group, you know, along with me, um, so he's just a natural choice. He's just as good as I am in the car. <laughs> Could be better, but he is definitely as good as I am, and I have absolutely no issue with sticking him in the silver car and thinking he'll be able to get the job done. So we did talk about it, so he is aware of it. And um, he was like, yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> so anyway, let's move into the time slips. Get ready.
shift that one back here, guys. Tack went out. I don't know what happened. we go 793 but I couldn't tell what was going on in the car 85 was probably possibly short shifting the crap out of it oh well let's see if we can figure it out but we got our 17 so now here I get to drink my Mountain Dew <laughs> hey people are going to be disappointed you know because they were like expecting some grand celebration but don't you do I it I got problems you know I got to get it figured out I'm not going to spray nobody. I don't know. Sweet taste of it. Damn, that's good. The first of many to come. We got it fixed, uh, had a bad ground, imagine that. So, fixing it, close it back up, make another pass. After a 10 year hiatus, we made a first pass at Mobile Driveway. Um, I show you from the, from the time we start the car to the end of the pass, it's a little bit different than how we do it at Atmore and stuff, how you gotta pull in back up, stuff like that. Pass was okay, uh, losing the lights and the, and the tack, you know, on the one two shift or whatever that was not the uh, most perfect situation just kind of shifted it by ear you know the, the rest of the way and um you know seven seven ninety three not quite what i was hoping for um but i figured under the circumstances it was a pretty decent pass and uh we got that we got it out of the way that was just the biggest thing just get the seven out of the way so now we can move on you know and um you know pirate made a good lick Pirate made good looks all night long. Did a great job behind the wheel of the car. Uh, really consistent too. That that really kind of shows you your driver, your driver, and um, got his car figured out more or less because he was basically on. I think he had one number that was off, but other than that, he was on it all night long. So running like seven fifties all night long. I think he had one one where really blew tires off or something, but other than that, he was on point. Um, so anyway, let's look at the time slip, see what's what. There we go, 176 with a six, 793, 85.26. To be 100% honest, I wasn't super happy with any of those numbers, but I was glad just to get that seven. Um, also, we'll have the DA listed. It got probably got worse as the night went on, but we'll have the DA listed. The humidity was freaking crazy, so... Um, anyway, but let's move on to our next pass.
got our lights and tack issue fixed, made our second pass. Um, <clears throat> the launch RPM throughout the night, the first pass I was a little aggressive, uh, right, I was probably right around 4,500. On the second one, I went down just a little bit um, and the 60 foot was substantially better and just that was that was a good pass i was a lot happier with it because i felt like that was more representative of what we were uh running again i'm probably going to talk about this about eight different times in the video uh we did not touch a single thing on jetting or timing or anything and that thing that car has went <clears throat> six like six fifties on the fail td it's went six seventies on pro stock and now I'm asking it to try and do something on the love boat without rejetting it. So it has been capable of running 103 mile an hour, 100 mile an hour, and now I'm slapping it on a car and it's it's just it's jetted too much. It needs to be it needs a bunch of jet pulled out of it, especially with the way the, more, the humidity water grains are probably freaking nuts last night. So, it, you know, it it realistically needed a bunch of jet poured out. But I didn't want to touch it. And I didn't bring jets. I didn't bring anything. We're just going to run it how we're going to run it. So, that was, the mile an hour was the one thing I was not as happy about. And I, at the moment, will attribute most of that. And I'm not saying it's off by like six mile an hour. Don't get it twisted. It's, but I expected it to be, a little bit more mile an hour. If you go do any of the online calculators, the Love Boat completely overachieved. Um, based on just based on mile an hour alone, it should not have been running nearly as fast as it was, kind of a thing. And that was under full stride. So anyway, let's go take a look at the time slip real quick. Get that out of the way. There we go. 168, 779 at 85.74. So um, we're pretty happy with that and. You know that that was more representative of what we kind of thought the car would run. We probably thought it. We thought it'd probably be like in the 770s. So we were more pleased with that. We're going in the right direction. Got Eric jumped off. Got Eric jumped off. Battery about half dead. Get him, corn dog. Don't break it, your mom will be pissed. <laughs> Look at that, that's customer service. Second, third, and then get fourth at the other end. I know you had a lot. Of, you had a lot of pressure on you from what happened with the battery, but you're ready now. I did tell Michael you're very lucky that Jaws wasn't next to you. That great white would have got on. I, I had the opportunity to race you, and I, I said I need a single. I need, I need a single. Gotta get my head together. Gotta get, get it together. I got. I'm getting. I'm getting mine figured out now a little bit. Now this is, and we were just bashing on Eric, but hey, you know what? He's here racing. He, he hustled up, got off work, got his junk loaded, and he's here racing. So fix. we, I we, put back together yeah, again. we can, he had to put stuff together. We can't talk trash on him. But Kevin, being a true friend, is going to get that slip of failure. And I don't even know why. <laughs> well, you can look at the six, well, hell, I think you missed second at 460 foot. Yeah, I don't think I've ever done that. Dang it. Uh, like I said, it was a 60 foot. Point. Terrible, because he missed a gear for it. You ain't going to believe this. What? Oh, that must be 330 number. <laughs> That's the only two numbers you got is a yeah. 60 foot and a... Yeah, they just shut the clocks off. They're like, yeah, this guy's done. No, no, that's the eighth mile number, 552. What? That's pretty good. <laughs> Been uh, I, I really 161. I'm going to have to turn the Lincoln up now. 
Oh, there it Stock is. Stock axles. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Are reading glasses, yeah. Kevin? Man. Man, we are having some trouble, dudes. Get my second drink of Mountain Dew here. Oh my gosh, I'm thirsty too. It is, freaking humidity is nuts. Look at that right there. Mm. Eric's battery's dead. So, Kevin's jump box couldn't get it going. Oh boy. I gotta go help push. to exchange not okay that was 100% on me I hit the clutch pedal and my foot just kind of like bounced off the side of it just kind of ah, I mean I screwed that one up big time that was that was all in the leg I bombed it so um, there's no need to even look at the time slip honestly there was nothing there to see so that's just that was a bummer but we just move on to our next pass so I put some oil in the left, so we'll be making a single, our redemption run. We'll try to. Seven ninety three. I had to one seventy four. Damn it, man. Oh well. We just kind of hot lapped it for our redemption run. Um, had to make a single, so I'm gonna lay down. The other lane down. 
uh, it spun the tire. But we got all the gears and you know, the ET wasn't impressive, 60 foot wasn't great or anything like that. This, this car is all predicated, like all of my cars, is are all predicated on the 60 foot. So, um, you know, no good 60 foot, ET is not gonna be great. So 793, the only upside to any of this is, is that, or that is, is that we got our third seven, which is what our little group requires to say, you've got a fill in the blank car. You can't run one, t you can't run one number and say, oh, it runs this. No, nah, that could have been a fluke. Could have been a fluke. So three sevens, we can at least say we got a, we got a seven second car. Can't say I got a 770 car though but I can say I got a seven second car. I can say I got a 790 car. Anyway, let's take a look at the slip. 174, 793 at 85.1. Honestly, none of that was great, but you know, at least it got us our third seven. Here's one of the design flaws of the Ram Air radiator thing. It done, it done blew the dang fan out. I done pressurized this deal, Eric. Yeah, you channel a little too much air. I'm gonna put some of these zipper ties on it and maybe we'll figure it out that way. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna end up doing that though. You wanna jump off that there? Oh, huh? Will you sit it in the oh. back seat behind the driver's seat? All right, we gotta fix this real quick. No, you're going the wrong way. Oh, 770. 75. Fifth pass, we ended up lining up with Eric, who, um, honestly, Eric's had a bunch of stuff going on all night. He got there late because of work and um, had charging problems. Battery, he had battery problems, not charger. He had battery problems. Um, Pirate had his generator there, got him jumped up, charged up, and uh, our we we got the we finally got the kind of race on if you want to call it level ground. I was running like I was decently, and Eric's car is having some issues, but you know. So anyway, we made we made um, 
what I would call representative pass. I, that was, you know, 60 foot was good. or was the best 60 foot of the night. Um, and, uh, you know, it was just a good pass. I was more excited because Eric is, I think I'm within striking distance of Eric. So anytime I can beat Eric, and even I didn't know he had problems. Anytime I can beat Eric, it to me is like a big deal because his car's a his car's not a little, his car is faster than mine, but I'm close enough to where if there's any mistakes made like on the tree or anything, that I can get a win if I'm perfect. So anyway, let's take a look at the time slip and see how it all shook out. Here we go, 164, 775, 85.5. I'd also like to point out uh, the old theory that gets brought up at times on the internet. You know, if you spin, you'll get a bunch of mile an hour. Best 60 foot, second highest mile an hour. Second best, uh, crap. <clears throat> second best 60 foot, Best mile an hour. My cars always run the best mile an hour with the best 60 foot. That spinning stuff doesn't apply to what I do for some reason, whatever. Um, so anyway, pretty happy with that pass. All right. This will be our last one, I think. We're only doing two steps and stop. Sixth pass was going to be our final pass. We were running Eric again, and this time I wanted to leave on the two step. So I added at its lowest setting, uh, 4,600, and um, you know, just got on it pretty early just to make sure it was working right. And um, you know, it made an okay pass. It kind of made a middle of the pack pass. Um, that was basically a hot lap too. So um, you know. Again, you know, I and I red lit, so Eric gets that victory, or that was his victory, because I red lit um, pretty bad, too, honestly. I was surprised. But uh, all in all, you know, can't complain about that pass. It ran another seven, so um, let's uh, take a look at the time slip. I was 120 red, and Eric was 224 uh, green. Goodness. Um, 167, uh, I, I honestly don't know why it slowed down so much, to be honest with you. Um, 
787 to 84.6. I, I have to take a closer look at the in car, see if I did something um, on the shift light. I don't know. Um, but it should have ran better than that, honestly. But uh, I mean, but it ran what it ran. So um, overall, I'm going to call that a good night. Six passes. I had one missed gear. And then we had the little snafu with the electronics on the first one. So, you know, and that one, the missed gear was that's totally on me. But um, otherwise, all the other passes, every pass was in the sevens except for the miss gear, of course. So, I mean, after the two trips we had, I can't complain. So man, what's the plan? It's pirate time now. We work as crew chief. large car did okay tonight i screwed it up twice but <laughs> once on the thing with the wire nuts never fail dude wire nuts never fail if i would have had a wire nut on we had that problem and then uh i missed the gear i missed the clutch at least you got two 70s under your belt yeah i got two 70s 180 and 290 so like i say i think if it I think if it's down about two or three jet sizes it'd probably pick up a little bit more it's killing mile an hour I, that's just my personal thought but i'm happy with it now we're fixing up why's he got to have someone help him load it up he's got an air ride trailer worried about hitting the wind. oh jesus all right let's try and load this garbage up sitting here kevin's in there out there strapping the car down dude the humidity or I should say dudes, the humidity, oh my God, it's no joke. I mean, I have got sweat just dripping off of me. Holy smoke, it's humid. Whew. Man, oh man. But hey, we had a good time. I mean, I screwed the pooch on a couple of them. That was my bad on two of those, but I think we got something to work with now. Or we kind of got an idea. What do you need? I just sit in the car. That's all I do. Um, but yeah, I think we got, you know, we had a lot of fun. This thing's, this thing's pretty fun to drive. I mean, it's not super fast, but I think if we jetted it down, it would run a little bit better. And so anyway, we'll talk about that in the blah, blah, blah. I'm sure I've ran through the time slips, you know, bitching about the jetting. Get out, right? Huh? I'm supposed to. Oh, oh. I don't know. <laughs> get out the back? I'll figure it out. Yeah. No, yeah, but I don't have a. Yeah, I'll figure it out. I'll get out. Don't you worry. Can't get out there. I'm just going to ride like this on the way home. Yeah, so. All right, well, we'll see you guys. I think we're going to Waffle House. That's how good of a mood I'm in. I'm not even going to complain about it. Does he want it out of gear? Huh? Out of gear? Not yet. Okay. Gear. He heard me. I got two All right. We'll see you guys here in a minute. It's Eric's pass. 783, 85.7. Granny shifting. And why couldn't he run that when he's racing me? I've been a good race. Real good race. Oh, well. He got the one win because I red lit. I didn't realize I had red lit. I red lit pretty bad, so he got one. 83. What do you think you ran there, Chief? The, the glazer of donuts. 160, 783 at 85.7. 783? Not yep. bad. No. I mean, Granny shifted. Yeah, I mean, one, I, two, two, three. I mean, do you got to go home and watch Fast and Furious because you ain't double clutching like Dom taught you? No. Ask any racer. 
Ask any racer. It doesn't matter if you win by an inch or a mile or a red light. A win's a win. Wait a minute now, the red light. A wee, a I, I, I lost. I own. You see what? See what? When something goes down on the tree, I own my losses. Okay. I own them. Because I'm like, you know what? I, Are you insinuating that I... I'm not insinuating anything. I'm just saying I own my losses. So just, to, I'm just saying that's what I'm saying I do. I don't know what anybody else does. I, I, I don't know. I just say what I do. You know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to go to Waffle House. My bitch. That's where y'all want to go. That's right. Call me friend. What is there? Where is it? The next one. Yeah. Back there. You mean exit? Dolphin Island and whatever. Well, then we'll have to follow you. I hope you know where it is. You can, I actually was driving by is it open? Time. We're in Alabama, Eric. We're not in Florida. I don't know what kind of hours they keep running. All right. Or, I'm just going to keep the camera on you. Keep doing you. Yeah, we don't know what kind of hours they operate on around here. Okay. We don't know, guys. We don't know, guys. We don't know, guys. We don't know. Eric don't know. Let's see. Hey, look at this guy right here. He's using the internet. Look at Michael, 63 years old. Does that internet works? Whataburger, 7.9 miles on Schillinger Road. Schillinger Road. It says open 24 hours. 20, is the lobby open 24? doesn't say. It says dry, oh, dine in drive through. Okay. Well, we'll stop by there, and if they ain't open, we'll just all beat the dog shit out of Eric in the parking lot. I will be repeating some things, but you know what I won't be saying? Guess who didn't miss any gears tonight? Because it wasn't me. I missed one. Pirate didn't miss any. Well, that is right. Look at you. Look at that. Gear banger. Just, ge just, gear by, ba just by the grace of God. Gear banger of the night right there. That's, and you see, folks, that's why I'm going to put him in the second car. So I'm going put him in the blower car. Because the man can drive. Holy crap. What? You didn't say that. The silver car. It's got. A, it's going to have a Vortec on it. Yeah. What? You'll be what fine. If I what if you what? Crack the... Oh golly gee whiz! I don't get like I said. Do I ever do I ever like get upset when something like breaks, like brake transmission or something like that? It's always the stupid stuff. I didn't even get mad tonight over that thing, and that was stupid. That whole. I was looking for it. I kept saying, "There's a ground off. There's a ground," and I just. But you were over there in it. Yeah, I was, I was in like, it. I was all in the wires. I was like, and then when you saw, yeah, it, I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. I was in some of that 16 gauge spaghetti. Is what I was in. <laughs> <laughs> well, you need to put a bag of wire nuts in Yeah, car. well, you know what? And no one's going to give me any damn credit because it ain't all red wires. You notice there's different color wires in there? It's not all red. People, you go, everything you got just got all red wires in it. That's Kevin. <laughs> but I, I got called on that on the fail TV. Yeah, but this has got all different. I made sure I used different color wires. You know, the problem is being internet famous like you are. I'm not internet famous. You're going to have to take a little bit of scrutiny is a little bit more. I, that's fine. Because you know what I'm good at doing? By ignoring, ignoring scrutiny. <laughs> I, That's I'm what good. She said. I'm good. At, I'm pretty good at ignoring it. You know so. why? You know why he found the ground problem? Because he had to. He didn't have a fan here to kick. I didn't have the. That's right. The box fans at home. I know. Nice I'm bringing it with me next time. And I would have kicked it. I would have picked it up and power slammed it and maybe jumped on it. You want to see me do an elbow drop right here in the grass on a box fan? Oh, you talk crazy. about. You talk about going viral. Be right up in there. So, all right. We, uh, yeah, but I didn't get upset. I didn't even really get frustrated. I'm just like, nah, something's wrong with it. I didn't really miss it because I kept looking for it. I, I get under the hood. Because it I, was in that, where I've got that wiring looped temporarily, kind of all temporarily there permanent. There in there and I was like, something And it, it hit that ground. But, and I was like, oh, it's the ground, the ground. Because that ground for the tack oh. is tied into those lights. In That's it. Right. So, well, it's I'm just like these cars here. But I could have, I was like, also, something could happen. The tack could have just died. They do die at times, but it wasn't. It was all good. Oh, yeah, some pro. Not in a love boat. Yeah. That's a gunboat now, boy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, well. We had a good time, though. Well, Kevin, he's got to step up his game. Nah, he's going to have – man, he's got to have my best pass covered on his on – his first pass is going to cover my best pass. Fact. Look at Kevin. He's plotting right now. He's plotting right now. He knows. He got that four bolt main. Is it four bolt main? It's two bolt main, four hundred block, right? Yep. Dude. Stock crank, stock rods. Look at him, poor mouthing. Got AFR one ninety fives screwed down on top of that deal. Richard had a four hundred in his quarter. I tell you what, yeah, it's, it's pretty, good. pretty good. You know of all the cars Richard's had. Uh huh. That's his brother. No, I know he doesn't. He's never been in the sixes. 
I know. Ever. And he had a Hellcat and a GT 2022, yeah, 2022 model. 2020. Okay. Uh, that's what brothers do, Eric. If you had one, you'd know. He's got. I don't know what Eric's talking about. He's got a sister that bags on him. A sister that bags on you. That's what brothers do, man. They bag on each other. You got a big sister. Look at him. His big sister. She's good to me. She's good to me. He was nurtured with the mother's milk. Bless his heart. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I, we talk about it all the time. Never been in sixes. Never been in sixes. He's gotten close. Seven O's, yeah. And when he does have tires, he don't have the car that'll get there. Even then, it don't matter because he had them on that Hellcat. But he brought it up when it was like 118 degrees at the track. It's a drag rig. But it's got automatic. Drag rig is all right on automatic. I keep hearing that all the time. I thought Hellcat, Hellcats are solid axle. I know nothing about Hellcats except that they're kind of fast and they cost a lot of money. I believe they are because they do all that drifting and stuff. You don't see it. Oh, well, that might be modified. I'm talking factory. I don't know. All right. We are getting very close to heading out to the Whataburger, guys. We are in the air conditioning. Headed to the Whataburger. Following Eric. He's leading the way. No lights. With no lights. I mean, not in the sure. back. On the trailer. Well, no running lights. You got brake lights, turn signal. Yeah, that's but, right. Yeah. But uh, no lights. But we're following Eric. We're going to be at the Whataburger. Pirates behind us. I'm ready to eat. Pirate didn't have nothing but breakfast this morning. Kevin ain't had no lunch neither. These two guys are about to pass out. We'll be there in just a second. Hey, you guys get some of this Waffle House. Investigative purposes. Look at these guys. I mean, it's like a circus. Squeezing them into spots where they don't belong. This guy's like a homeless guy. It'll be a half one. It won't be a full one. It'll be a half one. He's like a homeless guy digging all these piece of paper out of his pocket with a winning lottery ticket. No, that's not it either. Is that all the ones you have? Just like three of them? Seven sixty-eight, seven fifty-one, seven fifty-seven, seven fifty-three. Hey, you're doing a good job. Look at those jobs. Big portamobile. We had Waffle House. How would you rate your Waffle House experience, Kevin? burger and, and pirate had an ant on his teacup i know that's just extra protein yo yeah i had no ants but i was too hungry to complain uh, yeah so kevin I just, didn't care i was hungry i ripped too. it off and ate anyway I mean, it wasn't terrible it's just it's just the waffle house is like always kind of weird for some reason there's there's strange people in there not counting us <laughs> and i don't know it just kind of freaks me out sometimes well, there you have it, guys. We made it to Mobile Dragway. We made six passes, one missed gear, and the rest of them were all in the sevens. Um, again, I think taking some jet out of the car will put it, it's probably going to pick up a little bit for sure. Um, I think it's probably a, would be able to dip into the high 760s just the way it sits with a little bit of fine tuning. Um, the only the two things I wasn't super happy with, and I've said this before, was the mile an hour, and I think that's from the jetting. I also wasn't super happy with the lack of consistency with the car. Now, that comes with making passes. If, if you're a racer, you know this. It doesn't matter if it's automatic or stick, even though I do feel that stick cars require more seat time. That's just me, because the driver, it's gotta be as good as the car, or the driver's gotta know the car, kind of a thing. So, um, I can't, or shouldn't, I guess, be as hard on myself or, or worry about it as much that we were not as consistent as I would like to be. Because if you take our low number of a 75 and then you take our high number of a 93, that's almost a two-tenth spread. And honestly, that's not, that's not, I, I, I'm not happy with that. that that's. I'm not happy with that as a, as a driver. That's that's not you know not where we want to be. Like I say, we ran two 93s, we ran an 87, we ran a 75 and a 79. So there's some meh in there. There's some 
mm. in there, and then there's some, hey, that's pretty good in there. So, but the consistency in the low mile an hour is a little concerning. Um, again, I got to take into account that the track, but Eric was having good 60 foot. He was like 160, 161, 160. He was very consistent on the 60 foot. Um, so was Pirate. And if, if they're being consistent, then I can't blame it all on the track. I got to look at the driver and I got to look at the car a little bit and say, hey, we, we're not 100%, which again, I can't expect it to be perfect every, the out every time or not early on. It takes some time to sort these sort cars out, new combinations and stuff like that. So, but we're, we're headed in the right direction and that is what is promising, at least in my mind, that we're headed in the right direction now. I have some decisions to make as far as what I want to do, and a lot of that involves finance, finances and things like everybody's projects. Um, so, you know, I, this was really kind of a watershed moment for us as, as to how we were going to feel about the car. Would, you know, would we be okay just kind of pushing it off into the back of the shop for a couple of months while we focus on some of the other cars? Or did we want to keep it closer into the loop as far as really looking at you know, doing some more stuff to it because at the end of the day, Kevin is going to have to use his car shredder to take his 55 up there, or that's what he's going to want to do. And um, the van's not running right, or we haven't worked on it. We don't know when we're going to work on it. My car trailer's got something, the convert sit, the vert sitting on it. It needs four new tires. That's money that I honestly don't want to spend on car tires. So the other option is to drive the car. All we have to do is wire up the lights. We probably have to do something with the radiator. If we string it out long enough, we might be able to get into the cooler months and then we don't have to really worry about the radiator as much. I don't know. It's, this is just stuff that, you know, but I had a lot of fun driving the car and it's, it's kind of, it's quirky cool. So, you know, we, I think we'll keep it closer to our heart than push it away. Um, cause I, I'd really like to see it have a good day, a consistent day. Um, and again, Eric's had some, had some problems. Uh, pirate had a really good night, but nobody broke anything. Everyone got home safe. Everyone got, you know, on the trailer. Okay. All that was good. We had a great time hanging out. It was a lot of fun. It was cool going to a new, uh, not a new place, but a place you hadn't been in a really long time to race a new experience. That was all that was great. The whole night was a lot. It was, a lot of fun. The humidity was whew, <laughs> rough, but you know that everyone's having to deal with it, so no big deal. But anyway, that's it. We got the love boat. It took us three trips to have a somewhat successful outing. It took us three trips to do what it should have probably done on the first trip, but we did take a Lincoln Town car that I bought bone stock from a, a little old lady, literally a little old lady in her step or granddaughter and daughter and uh for not a whole lot of money i think i paid five seven hundred dollars for it something like that it's hard to remember and we would chopped it away whittled it down um mid tens then high nines then mid nines then low nines then we converted the car put the stick in it the gt40s and we went eight o's now we went 770 so we and we haven't spent a ton of money on it not a lot of money relatively speaking um, a lot of used parts the rear suspension stuff we spent some money on the control arms we bought those new but a lot of the other stuff has been used parts so I'm pretty happy with with where we've gotten with it so you know it's sometimes looking back on the journey gives you a little perspective on how far you've come and uh, so I feel like we I feel like we've done, you know, we've done a pretty decent job. We've kind of got the car where I wanted it. What I saw in my head originally, it, it being a stick shift and running a seven. That was the only actual real goal I had. I didn't know how I was going to get there, but those were just the, those were the two things that I thought I could do or want or I wanted to do. And we've achieved both of those. So now everything after this is just really gravy, it, it, gravy and a good time. So, um, I'm glad you guys got to come along on the journey with us. It's not over by any stretch. Just, you know, it's been fun. So, and it's getting, it's getting more fun. So, um, thanks for commenting. 
Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the ways you guys support the channel. Especially, I don't have the, I don't have the glasses here. Thanks for watching. And until next time on the Substandard Leader in 7 second, 8 mile, one year only Lincoln Town Cars and a bunch of crappy box bodies. We'll see you guys in the next video.